To get started, you can read in your spectrum either by going to Spectrum and then Load Spectra, or you can just go to your file browser and take hold of a spectrum, in the case of Rooker Data, a whole folder if you like, and drag it into the program. But we can read lots of other formats as well, such as UCSF, NMR Pipe, Felix, or Azara. To simply take one or more files and drag them into the project. When your spectrum is open, you can change the contours using the buttons on the toolbar at the top. You can move your spectrum around with the by dragging it with the left hand mouse button or by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can zoom in using the mouse scroll wheel. If you use this on one of the axes, then it selectively zooms in on that axis. Once you have a setting that you'd like, you can lock that aspect ratio by clicking on the locked button in the bottom left hand corner. Now the aspect ratio will stay locked. Alternatively, click on fixed and then the aspect ratio will go to a preset fixed value. You can pick peaks by dragging the mouse and holding down the shift and control buttons. Or simply hold down shift and control and click to place a peak manually. You can select peaks by holding down the control button and dragging or clicking to add or remove peaks to the selection. With shift and drag, you can zoom into your spectrum. All of your data is always kept here in the sidebar. You can see here the three spectra that I've entered and nested underneath these are peak lists and other bits of data. If you want to visualise any data, simply drag it across into the drop area. So you can drag one spectrum or several spectra in one go, or similarly I could drag a peak list and then that will be shown as a table. You can double click on an item in the sidebar and that will bring up a properties box which will allow you to make edits. In the case of a spectrum for instance you can change the spectrum name, add an experiment type and various other parameters in the dimensions tab you will see information about referencing and you can also change the contour colours here if you like. If you want to move your module windows around simply take hold of one by its top bar and then move it to the edge of another module. If you hover over the border between two modules then it will span both of them. You can also double click on a top bar to pop a module out or take hold of it and pop it back in again. In 3Ds we will see a box at the bottom to show you the Z position. Use the arrows to move through to different planes or click in with the mouse and use the mouse wheel to scroll through. You can also use the control button and the mouse wheel to move through different planes within the spectrum. And in any spectrum you can use shift and the mouse wheel to change your contour levels. This number here on the right is your plane count, so at the moment we are seeing just one plane at a time. If I increase that, then I can increase or decrease the number of planes I see in one go. I can add strips to my 3D spectrum, or to any spectrum indeed, by clicking on the large plus symbol up here, or remove them again with minus. These buttons here on the left allow you to increase or decrease the width of your strips. You can also drag strips in order to change the, their order. The right hand mouse menu is context dependent, 
so it depends where in the program you click as to what the options will be. So just have a look and see what options you can find. The program uses two key keyboard shortcuts. These are shown in the menus at, on the right hand side. Simply type the two letters uh, without a comma and lowercase in order to bring up whichever module you would like. You will see that some modules have a little gear icon in the top left hand corner. If you click on this, this will bring up a settings panel. Click on it again to close the settings panel again. In the help menu, we've got links to a set of video tutorials and the kind of manual. This covers a variety of different topics. And if you click on one of these pages, they will generally have a YouTube video at the top and some text below. So it's up to you whether you prefer watching videos or reading through some text. We've also got a link to our forum here, which is where you can ask questions. And we try to monitor this regularly and get back to people with help. We've also got a set of PDF based tutorials. Simply click on this, bring up the tutorial file and you can work through these in your own time to learn about different aspects of the programme. The help menu also includes a list of all the keyboard and mouse shortcuts for you to check through. And finally in the project menu um, there is the preferences pop-up. This has a number of different settings which you can explore and ways in which you can modify the way in which the program works. These are set for you as a user and will apply to all of the, your projects.